guys so my voice is just really deep right now because i threw up yesterday but anyways that's not even the point i'm about to go to ups to drop off the gucci soho disco bag so a little update i was able to sell the telfar cerulean blue and the person that I sold it to, she got it right on time, so that was awesome. And then now I'm on my way to UPS to go drop off the Gucci Soho Disco bag. The box is huge, let me show you. You guys see how big this box is? It's about the yay big, and then I definitely put like stuffing and stuff. But I'm just super, super paranoid because what if somebody tampers with it? I just, I get so paranoid. I just feel like everyone in this day and age steals packages. It's just, everyone's corrupt. It's awful. But yeah, I'll keep you guys posted. Fingers crossed, guys. Fingers crossed. Okay, guys. So we just got to UPS. And I'm filming this not even for content, just for the memories. Because I'm saying goodbye to this bag. And my ex-boyfriend at the time got it for me in 20 like the christmas of 2016 but it was just like really sweet and i use this bag so much like i know i'm selling it because i haven't used it recently but i genuinely love 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 this bag i honestly think if it if they were still selling this bag so at the time i believe it was like 800 and fifty dollars i believe like in 2016 it was around 850 dollars which is such a steal for an all leather bag like such a steal more like it's just such a good price for what it is it's a leather bag grained just like super hard wearing gray even with the slight corner wear it's just such an amazing bag if you're able to get it on fashion file 10 out of 10 i think the markup is kind of insane i mean i get it it's discontinued but retail price was 800 and something and the fact that fashion file are, are selling it for like $1,300 I honestly think that's ridiculous like actually so ridiculous I really hope the person that gets it loves it and uses it and it's just it's so great like this could be your go-to travel bag because it's low-key but not low-key at the same time and just I love everything about this bag and it's just uh it's so sad but yes okay it is in this big box right here and I'm so hyper paranoid like hyper hyper paranoid just selling all these bags is just really stressing me out because I don't have any peace of mind until the person that I'm sending it to texts me and they're like, just got the bag. Love it. Thank you. Like, I need that. Just guys, please cross your fingers that the package gets delivered. Okay, we're going to UPS. Hi guys. So we are back at home. Obviously, I took a shower. I have my spa treatment on. So you know it's the end of the night. It is currently midnight and my brother is making chocolate chip cookies so i can't use the kitchen right now but basically i've been getting this craving if you guys have been up to date with starbucks well first of all you guys know me i can't have starbucks syrup because it makes me break out like crazy if not right below as bad as eggs so this is my tier of what makes me break out so number one is eggs number two is soy products so like tofu soy milk and then number three is starbucks syrup classic syrup vanilla syrup any of it it just makes me break out but my absolute two favorite things at Starbucks is their caramel and their whipped cream together. Phenomenal. And then my second favorite thing of all time is their pumpkin cream cold brew drink. I'm not really a big fan of pumpkin spice latte drinks. I feel like it's a little bit too spicy. I don't know. But the pumpkin cream cold brew is so, so good. And I just want it so badly. But do I want to pay $6 for coffee? Absolutely not. So I've been looking up a lot of recipes on YouTube. Tons and tons. Probably I've watched like five to six videos. I read the comments too to see like the people that have tried it. To see what they think. Da -da 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 -da. And then we're going to do a taste test tomorrow morning. So yes. Cross our fingers that this is gonna be delicious. So his entire recipe, I'm just cutting it in half. But yes, let's go. So we are finally going to taste test the pumpkin cream cold brew. Are you guys excited? 
Okay, so really quick, I do have some Starbucks syrup because my friend's ex-girlfriend uh, used to work at Starbucks or does work at Starbucks. I don't know. We don't talk to her anymore. She gave us a bunch of bottles of Starbucks syrup, so I have this. This does make me break out, but for the purposes of a taste test in this video, I want to give it a go. So, yes. Okay, so here we have the ingredients. So everyone says apparently you're supposed to use fat-free milk, non-fat milk, because the actual recipe card says non-fat milk. Because my friend sent me a screenshot of the recipe of their normal cold brew. I don't know if you're supposed to shake this. I don't really drink regular milk for the sake of this video. So the recipe says to do two tablespoons. And of course, I'm Chinese, so I'm using this Chinese soup spoon. This actually makes a lot... Apparently, this is the measurement for a Fenty size cold brew and then the recipe calls for one pump of vanilla syrup i don't have a pump on this so i'm just gonna eyeball it and do maybe just like a little bit like this i don't know if that's too little or too much but i already did add vanilla syrup to my cold brew already and then we're gonna do one tablespoon of this pumpkin sauce i put mine in this container you guys see how mine has black specks so after i finished making this and i poured it in i actually sprinkled some more uh, pumpkin spice powder on top just for extra flavor I'm just gonna mix it a bit it's really thick now and then i'm just gonna do one tablespoon of the syrup and taste test this mm, yummy and then here i have my milk frother how very on brand autumn season and this is orange and then now we're just gonna whisk it up the recipe that he uses actually does also add heavy cream but for me i don't really like heavy cream in my cold brew foams i tried it i'm just not a fan it's just a little too thick so this is gonna be an adjusted version Okay, so in the guy's video, he actually adds syrup to the coffee, but I did add a little bit of syrup already, so I don't want to add too much. I'm just going to add this much. Maybe a little more. I'm kind of tired. <laughs> so the key to the cold foam is that it doesn't sink to the bottom, that it should just stay kind of like a floating island. See? Oh, nice. Do you guys see? So the key, if you guys know that you guys did a good one, is if you have this exact line right here. Do you see it's like barely falling down? So that's really good. Yay! Okay, we're gonna taste test. So first, I just wanna taste test the foam. The foam does taste good. It doesn't taste exactly like from Starbucks, but I'm not gonna lie to you, it does taste really good. I'm gonna mix it. Okay. Mm, it's really good. I think the only thing that I would change is the coffee that I use. I use the Hawaiian coffee just because that's what I had in. That's what I'm trying to use up. And that has a little bit too much macadamia nut flavor in the coffee. But me imagining this if I use like the Starbucks Veranda Blend coffee or just Don Francisco's Kona coffee blend too. I think it would be really tasty. But all in all, I think this is a success. Now we don't have to waste $6. Cheers. Okay guys, so we are back in my room. I have a little bit of makeup on because I do plan on filming a video today. It's very like fall-esque. It's really the lip that makes it very, very fall. But I wanted to show you guys what I got in the mail. So I started opening the box and then I realized I wanted to show you guys. So. <laughs> Alrighty, so here's the little baggie. I like this cute little pouch because I feel like I could use it just to chuck into bigger bags with, which is really nice. It comes with some tissue. I feel like it goes without saying, but clearly this is a cosmetic something. It comes with just a little card. And then a crap ton of tissue. And then I got two samples and an eyeshadow quad. I thought these samples were actually pretty generous. I'm not even going to pronounce it, but you can just pause the video and just see what i bought i'm pretty sure it's like a skincare cream for both of these yeah something like that or maybe like a pre makeup thing but i got this quad so this collection was actually from last year so technically this is a year old it is the ombre de lune collection where it actually has the moon in the reflection because this entire collection if you guys haven't seen before it was like moon embossment in the highlighters the eyeshadow quads and stuff like that i was watching videos of the sophia ritchie makeup from her wedding day and also just her everyday makeup that's how i wanted to buy this eyeshadow so i believe she used this on her wedding day 
but it was just so pretty and i actually don't own a chanel quad just because i feel like they're really expensive do you guys remember when they came out with that tweed collection where the cosmetic pouch came with a tweed thing that was sold out everywhere and i obviously i am not paying resale value for an eyeshadow quad absolutely not that was the only other one that i really wanted to buy they had this like yellow and purple one that was also really pretty from a couple seasons ago and it was just really pretty but realistically i would only see myself wearing that in the spring okay but going back to this if you guys hadn't seen it so you guys see how it's like gold which i thought was really cute and this is the back but let me show you the embossment on the inside it's gorgeous i haven't even swatched it but i watched so many reviews on this so the lighting is not showing this true to color so i'm going to insert a clip right now of this in natural lighting outside just so you can see like the full depth of color but do you guys see the moon embossment it's so pretty like all of these like have the moon as a background ironically consistently all the videos that i've seen of this is that this is actually a lot more warm and orangey toned than you see in the pan especially the shade right over here that has the chanel i feel like it looks more taupey brown but it's actually a lot warmer when you put it on but so this was the quad that she used on her wedding day so i had to buy it i actually want to do like a get ready with me style using a bunch of hailey bieber and sophia richie's favorite products so i have two other chanel cosmetics that i ordered from ulta that is on the way so as soon as those arrive then i'm gonna film the video just because they all have like perfect skin i mean sophia richie is actually way more realistic if you see her video from three years ago you actually see like some of her acne texture which i love and adore you can clearly tell there is no filter on that video which is really nice and you guys know me i am the acne texture queen okay so i definitely want to film a video using their favorite products but like on textured acne skin and just see how that would work so if you guys are interested in those types of videos stay tuned it is coming up probably in like two weeks like less than two weeks for sure i'll film that video for you guys just because i love watching those types of videos so maybe some of you guys that suffer with acne too might enjoy that video as well but i just wanted to show you the little quad i got so i was really really excited so pretty oh, okay so that's about it I got a package in the mail so I wanted to show you what I bought so I ordered this well one I've been really wanting it but it was really really expensive I wanted to test out the popular makeup products that Hailey Bieber and Sophia Richie both use so of course you know so I finally, finally got the Anywhere Caffeine, the color 600. It's so funny. The shade right below this, which is like wherever walnut or whenever walnut is always in stock. And I do have that. And I actually like to wear that on my waterline. Whereas this one apparently is like a nudie brown. I've always wanted to compare this to Pillow Talk. Oh, and then I got another pencil. This is just more like a natural brown pencil. But I finally got this. So do you guys remember when Hailey Bieber made this go viral and then everyone bought it and then they got rid of it and then they replaced it with that other one where it was like highlightery and stuff and everybody was like bring back this one bring back this one because of the blushes and they finally brought it back I like that it's actually kind of raised so I'm not gonna touch it today but yeah so I'm gonna be filming that I'm gonna do like a get ready with me it's actually a lot smaller than I expected oh but look how perfect that is I actually love, love, love Makeup Forever base products. They're, I used to use their HD stick foundation back in what, like 2019. So when I went out, it was the HD stick and then every day was the reboot. And both of those I actually finished. Honestly, I would put those products to my holy grail list. I just never repurchased it because you guys know me. I'm a shopaholic and I just love trying new things. So I'm super excited to use the blush. Not that I needed new makeup, but... I love 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 their base products so I can totally use these for concealer and then under painting with this and then I just have a blush palette so I'm definitely going to take this on my trip with me and then this is all I bought so these two things so these are the Hailey Bieber ones the Anywhere Caffeine and then the blush palette yes okay so now I have to get ready do you guys want to see my cat? Ooh, you're so pretty why are you so pretty? hi guys really quick I just want to show you what I got in the mail 
quick little unboxing this was very impromptu i mean not completely impulsive i've been wanting this ever since i saw hailey bieber have them however they were very very expensive and then nordstrom just recently had a random sale like beauty was 15 percent off and this was actually i think 34 percent 34 was it 34 like 30 it was definitely more than 20 percent off so but if they don't look good on me i'm gonna return it because obviously Okay, hi guys. Um, we're doing a redo of the unboxing that I tried to do earlier. The lighting was terrible and I had to make dinner really quickly. But let me just show you all the trash. <laughs> so I unboxed it already, but earlier the lighting was just so bad. It was really blurry. So these are the new sunglasses I bought. However, if they don't look good on me, then I'm going to return it, which is awesome about Nordstrom is that they have an amazing return policy. So this case is leather. I feel like Saint Laurent is actually really famous for sunglasses. I feel like Celine and Saint Laurent especially, sunglasses are their thing. But I tried these on earlier and that was just a no, but I'll just show you guys again. So first, these are just what they look like. They're tortoise. They definitely give like 90s vibes because they're rectangular and slim. Do you guys see the tortoise? My favorite bit is actually this. So one, obviously, I actually really like the logo right here that it says Saint Laurent instead of like the YSL logo. And I love how skinny this is. It's just super, super skinny. And I think it's so cute. So retail price, this pair of sunglasses is $420, which is really expensive. However, Nordstrom was having a big sale. I don't know if the sale is still going on, but they were having a big sale. It was like 15% off all beauty. Like Tom Ford was 15% off. And then certain items were 30 plus percent off. And these sunglasses were 34% off. So I was debating between these sunglasses and these gentle monster sunglasses that I really wanted. However, the gentle monster sunglasses are $350 and then these were on sale for I believe 200 and I think it was like 260 or something like that I'll find the exact screenshot of the price but I definitely think that these are going to be a return for me hold on just put these up I don't know I think my forehead well one I don't like this so like I'm putting them on like this and this happens actually a lot. Do you see how these like dip down? I think it's just like the shape of my head. So even if they fit properly, this these sunglasses are more like a like a style, I guess. But if I'm spending $200 plus on sunglasses, you best believe I'm going to be wearing them. And this is just not, this is not it. Like <laughs> absolutely not. Like even when I push it like this, I don't like the way it looks and it's lopsided. I mean, it makes sense though, because my face shape is 180 different from Hailey Bieber. One, Hailey Bieber has a very pointy nose. I'm Asian, obviously, so my nose is flat. She has like very defined cheekbones that these could like lay on top of. And I have a big forehead and she has a very small forehead. I don't know, just Hailey bieber just made these look so cute but she also makes everything look really cute this is why it's really hard for me to find sunglasses because of my like the ratio of my forehead to the rest of my face but yeah so i'm, I'm gonna go return these which is totally fine because i got them on sale anyway so that's fine but i don't know i really want a pair of saint Laurent sunglasses just because i don't know it's just so cute like this logo bit right here so that's unfortunate but super super cute so if you guys are in the market i'll put a link of these sunglasses down below maybe if you have a shorter forehead these would look really really cute on you so yeah check out nordstrom